What's up guys, Jeff from here to give you another video on this channel and I have a major announcement. April 23rd, I will be in Juneau, Alaska, the capital, for a mini-con and I'll be selling my stuff there. Yes, it's the very first uh, Comic-Con, if you will, in uh, Juneau and I, I signed up, I already paid, so I should be there. I already paid for my plane ticket, so I'll be there. And, um, yeah, I am, uh, you know, kind of excited for it. Since it is, since it is a very small convention, I'm not going to bring a lot of stuff. I'm just going to bring my books. Uh, I'm going to sell, yeah, my books. Uh, I'm going to sell the, those chibi stickers. And, um, I'm going to sell those character cards. I actually found some character cards and I'm going to sell them. Got to get rid of them, you know. But I'm not going to sell my prints because uh, my prints haven't been selling well. Because, you know, who cares about my prints, you know. I just want to uh, sell the books. And uh, speaking of prints, I have prints of my own original work and uh, fan art. Like the Gravity Falls from Five Nights at Freddy's uh, crossover. That's been selling well. My, my flow... Uh, portrait. I sold one. Um, my um, Tifa and Aerith print. I sold two of those, I think. Two. And I gave one away. And I and one of them belongs to me. So, so yeah, that's a bit sad. But I just want to... I've been thinking about this. And I just want to bring up the this question. See what you guys think. Is it ethical for... Um, artists to sell a fan art. Um, you can say, of course it is, because it's their art. As long as you don't uh, trace an actual screenshot of the, um, of the of the cartoon or show, whatever, then it's all good. Well, that it's a very thin line. It's a very, I, I would say, it's a very blurry line. That's what I want to say. Because there are some studios out there that really frown upon um, people selling their their properties, their intellectual properties, and that's why I lean towards selling my original stuff, like whether it's uh, Jeff and Taylor books or Jeff and Taylor prints. I don't know. E even if people buy fan art more often, I still don't want to make fan art for the sake of just making money because there's no love into it. I really don't feel like it. I don't feel like um, making a print or drawing uh, of, a, of Zootopia characters because, oh yeah, this will sell well. I'm gonna draw a movie that I haven't seen yet and because I know it'll sell well. No, I'm not that, ki I'm not that type of artist. I just want to bank on uh, selling, uh, trying to sell my ideas and bring more Jeff and Taylor fans uh, onto here. And let me tell you guys this harsh reality it is incredibly hard to sell your original ideas to strangers. I mean, I've, I, I, I guess I've gotten some lucky breaks, I guess, with, uh, with self publishing. But I guess that's what the most I can do for now. Just keep cranking those comics, and uh, the more books I have, the more I sell. That's, you know, making capital. But at the same time, I kind of doubt myself. I don't think Jeff and Taylor will ever uh, hit the... Uh, it's like, I don't think it'll be an a animated show or anything. I guess my main goal is just uh, just finish the whole series, and then, then I, I've accomplished something. It's my life's goal. And uh, I've had some few people discourage me saying that, oh, I'm probably not meant for this. Um, but I ignore them. I just want to finish the whole whole series and try to bring as many um, uh, followers as I can. I, I made a little Facebook advertisement. I paid $30 for one month for, for Facebook to spread the word of Jeff and Taylor. And so far, I've gotten two new likes. No, I gotten one new like. Yeah. So out of um, 789 people reached, I had one like. 
And I guess... I don't know what to say about that. It's like, you, you can reach a million people, but it'll have like... Uh, 10 new likes or something like that. Which is sad. I don't get it. I don't get how these other uh, cartoonists do it. Maybe it's my idea, or maybe it's just me. Who knows? I've been on YouTube for seven and a half years, and I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. Which is, you know, I thank all of you. Especially those who've been there since the very beginning. And uh, actually being interested in my videos and my comic. I really thank you. I thank you. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not the type of guy that wants to make fan art just for the sake of making money. I make fan art. I, I know I rarely make fan art, but I, some, it's something that I really, really like, like Gravity Falls. That's the only type of fan art I have. Oh, and I and that one time when I drew Tifa, Tifa and Aerith, I just drew it because I felt like it. It's either that or it's because I want to sell it. <laughs> I don't know. It's, um, but I did feel like it. Yeah, I actually did want to uh, draw Tifa and Aerith because I this one time I drew them um, uh, like a long time ago. I wasn't happy with it and I said, okay, I'll try again. So I tried again a couple months ago and there you have it. And then I'm like, okay, I'll sell this as a print, whatever. Yeah, but I'm the type of artist that wants to, that has, that really wants to sell my original stuff. I don't rely on uh, other people's ideas. I guess that's admirable, right? I mean, I have, I mean, I'm telling you guys, Jeff and Taylor is a mainstream idea. It is going to work, it's going to be successful, but at the same time, how things are looking... I don't know. At the very most, in 10 years, I'm probably going to get 5,000 subscribers on this channel. 10 years from now. 5,000 subscribers. That's my prediction. So, the best I can do now is keep working hard, keep cranking out quickies and episodes as, mu as much as I can, as fast as I can, without ruining quality, and hope for the best. And um, if you guys can, if you guys can do it, Please spread the word about JNT to your friends, um, especially those if they're looking for new um, cartoons or comics to read. If they've if they're binged if they binged watch on Gravity Falls and they're sad that it's ended, tell them that hey well, you, you can follow Jeff and Taylor. It's just as exciting. <laughs> all right, that's all I wanted to say. So I hope you guys have a good day, a good evening, a good week. And I'll see you in another video really, really soon.